Hi guys, uh, I'm Luke van Dijk and I'm going to show you my five favorite plugins. Let's go! One of my favorite plugins is the D16 group Sigmund. It's a, a kind of a delay filter uh, unit. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I use it. Um, okay, so you have this, um, yeah, for example, you have a pad like this one. Um, yeah, it's a bit boring if you have it like this. Um, so you just smash a Sigmund on it and um, you just go to the presets and it's, it's a it's a very um, complex plugin. So I'm gonna show you some of the presets, okay. So this is the pad. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a very cool uh, plugin to um, make something sound very different than it was before, and you can tweak with all the the, the knobs. It's a it's a very cool um, yeah it's 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 a super plugin you should really check it out <laughs> I love it so another thing that I really like is Acid the 303 you can um, either buy a, a TB03 uh, from Roland or use one of the thousand plugins that emulates the the 303 I use a um, for example the Tell Baseline 101 it's um, it's a, so it's a plugin uh, of the SH101 by Roland and it has this preset in it um, called the acid saw and it sounds like this it, it, it sounds like acid but it, it has a it has a, a different ring to it I don't know but you have the acid um, there's this plugin called sting um, it's called a very nice edited pattern generator by Skinner Box. Um, so you have the tall 101, put the um, sting on it and just press play. Uh, what it does, it makes a sequence for you. Um, and this one goes very nice with the, the acid plugins uh, because it's yellow. And yeah, acid is often yellow. Um, every time you click on the nice smiley face, it makes a nice uh, pattern for you. If you pull this knob, um, turn this knob, it makes um, yeah it more intense and less. You can. Um, adjust swing to it yeah it's a, it's um it's a nice way of making acid it, it i don't know it sounds a little bit different and um yeah if you if if i'm making acid uh, this is probably the way so i i really like weird trippy stuff and um that is most of the times that uh, those are uh, things that you can make yourself uh, and isn't Ableton perfect for that? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we got this little bass loop over here. I love bass. Give me bass. Okay, um, we are searching for um, a breakbeat, some a drum loop that that is um, yeah heavy. Okay, so let's. See. We're on a those aren't beats. Those aren't beats. Yeah, 
something like this. Okay, put it in Ableton, flex it. Okay, cool. Um, duplicate it and consolidate it. I like to consolidate stuff. Okay, um, so we got this baseline. Okay, so we put a vocoder on there on the breakbeat. Also, very cool to to um, add some weird sounds. Okay, and then carrier, we go and go to external and put the input on the blue. And here's where it goes weird. Now, now you get a uh, strange vibe, and uh, the bass—it's—it's it's not a bass anymore, but it's more of a kind of bass that you put on top of another bass, just for the 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 strange effects, and you just can put a some uh, echoes on it. The timeless, for for example, a very cool plugin by FabFilter. And now you have like a maybe a frequency shifter. So that's something I use a lot. <laughs> okay, so bass lines are uh, yeah, pretty important. Um, and I like to have one, one bass, not like a sub bass or mid bass. Um, I, I would like to have one bass. So um, for instance, I have, I have this, this bass line over here. Just a classic M1 sample. Um, I do use bass samples. I think they're cool. I think they're cool. But um, it misses it misses something in the sub. So instead of uh, adding a sub bass, uh, I just put an R bass on it from Waves. Um, and you can boost uh, frequencies um, that you want. Okay, so let's let's make it. Have more body. Okay, so now you already feel that it's it's getting it's getting there. Maybe maybe a little bit more sub. So um, the frequency um, is now around 80, 80 and I'm gonna lower it down. And now it really is. It has the 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 belly feel. You can feel it in the belly. If you have a bass that doesn't have a lot of high or mid, you can easily just uh, boost more in the mid or the highs. So this is with width, uh, the R bass. And without. It is so more powerful now. So uh, yeah, our bass by Waves, definitely one of my faves. That rhymed. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, mixing can be very hard. Um, it isn't always about um, the volumes and the EQing and reverbs and and uh, let, it sit, let it sit right in the mix. It it also um, depends on the samples you're using. Um, so I got this. Um, this top loop over here. And if you focus on, on the sounds of the, the top loop, it is, re it is real crisp. Yeah, how do you call it? I have a little bit of a tick, uh, like a um, when they start. So listen closely. That is something um, that uh, I use a lot on 
um, elements like these uh, is the Pro G, and um, it's it's a gate, uh, it's a gator. So um, how I use it is that I put uh, a Pro G on the top loop, and uh, I give it a little bit more attack, the the elements, to make it more smooth, and that way it can be nice, very uh, a, a lot more nicer to to hear. So what I do, I um, pull, uh, put the attack, I put more attack on the on the tops. And now you can hear it's it's way more smoother and and it sounds it sounds more gentle. Um, but you have to check if there's the right mix um, be, because you don't want it to have uh, too much attack. Something like this, okay, uh, the difference Especially the claps, they have a very hard um, tick at the beginning So uh, the Pro G, this is, this is a lifesaver It is, I just use it a lot on, on hats, claps To make everything more smooth uh, And that way you can uh, have it easily hard in the mix and don't uh, ruin ruin the mix. So yeah, attack putting attack on um, on tops. Yeah, that is that is definitely a, a major one for me. Woo! Five. So yeah, uh, that was it. Um, I'm Luke van Dijk. Uh, I hoped you like this masterclass. I'm sorry for my UK uh, or American or Dutch English. Whatever, I most certainly had fun. Uh, thanks, Big Sang, for this opportunity, and I really hope you guys liked it. Cheers. <laughs>